What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your RKS42X two-tier keyboard stand. So right here I have everything that comes with the RKS42X. So we have our X stand, we have our two arms, and we have our middle support beam. So let's get to setting it up. So I'm gonna start with the X stand. So you'll notice this handle over here. This is actually what unlocks the stand. So if you pull it open like this, you'll see the alligator teeth come unclenched, and then you can put it in any position you want. So I'll set it up to right about here. And then when you're ready to lock it, you're just gonna push the handle in, and the alligator teeth will naturally clamp into each other, locking it into place. So now when you have it in this position, you actually can use it as a single X stand, which is great if you just have one keyboard. But you probably bought this because you have two keyboards, so we're gonna actually take our arms now. Now your arm is going to come like this, so what you're actually going to want to do is make sure you line up each arm with the appropriate side it's supposed to be on the stand. For example, you want this knob always facing outward. So with this arm, since the knob is pointing this way, I know this is going to go on the right side of my stand. Now you're actually going to use this knob to loosen it, and it's going to loosen the alligator lock we have here. And then once we have it loose, we can put the arm into any position or angle we want. I'm going to lock it in a 90 degree angle for now, just to make it simple. And then the bottom part over here with this knob is actually how we're going to attach it to our X stand. So we're going to loosen it first to make sure it's nice and loose. Then we're going to take this end, and you'll notice on the back of the X stand, there are two holes on either side. So we're gonna take this arm, since this is the right arm, feed it through the right side of the stand. And then when we get it into a position we like, I'll try to keep it as straight up as possible for now. We're going to lock it into place by screwing this knob on the back. And just like that, we have one arm on, and the process for the next arm is exactly the same. Remember, we always want this outer rock build knob to be facing outwards of the X stand. So I'm going to put this into a 90 degree angle, just loosening the knob, adjusting it till it's about a 90 degree angle like this, locking it back into place, lining it up with the left hand side, getting it to about 90 degrees, and we're going to lock it into place. So now at this point you can make a judgment call if you want to put on the middle support beam or not. This really depends on what kind of equipment you're putting on the second tier. For heavier pieces of equipment like heavier keyboards or mixers, you're definitely going to want to put that middle beam in. So let me show you how to do that now. So your middle beam is going to come like this with these two knobs on either side. All you're going to do first is loosen one side, take the knob out completely. And then you're going to just do the same thing on the other side with the slightly smaller knob. At this point, you can also loosen this middle knob here, which just allows the smaller tube to go through the larger tube, which depends on how you have this all set up. So now you'll actually notice that the left arm actually features a larger hole. So we're gonna take the larger end of the middle beam and slide it in there. And then the right arm features a little smaller hole so you can run the smaller tube into that. And then what you're going to do is just take your big knob that goes on the left hand side, you're gonna lock it into place. And then you're going to take your smaller knob and that's gonna go on the right hand side, locking the smaller tube into place with your right arm. Now, once you find a position that is comfortable for the second tier, you can lock this middle knob on the middle support beam into place. And then if you ever wanna adjust the second tier, like make it narrower or wider, all you have to do is loosen this middle knob and then just stretch it out or push it in. Now another cool feature about the second tier is with those knobs on the side, the rock build knobs with the shield on it, you can actually loosen them and then readjust the angle which will tilt the arm. So if you want a more inclined position, you can do this and lock it back into place. Do the same thing on the other side and it'll just give you a more aggressive tilt if that's how you feel comfortable playing that keyboard on the top tier. Speaking of keyboards, let me actually grab two so I can show you what this looks like with your keyboard on. Now we always recommend putting your larger keyboard on the bottom tier and when you look at these rubber pieces, you'll actually notice they move. So feel free to move them around to really grasp onto the bottom of your keyboard. Let me grab one more. Got another keyboard, place it on top. Notice these little stoppers which are gonna hold them into place and keep this second keyboard from falling forward. Now you don't have to use the second tier arms just to hold your keyboard controller. You can actually use it to hold anything, like a DJ controller, a mixer, basically anything that's gonna fit within those arms. You can actually use them with our shelves that we make, like the KS-1 or the Z shelf. Let me show you how to set that up now. So right here, I have our Z shelf, but the setup for this shelf or our KS-1 shelf is exactly the same. Basically, once you have the second tier all set up, you're going to take the front of the shelf, 
which for the Z shelf has this lip over here. And you're basically just going to pop it on the second shelf like that, lining the thumbs with the lip of the shelf. Now, depending on what you're placing on top of the shelf, you can always widen or narrow the arms to really give it a snug fit. Now, once you have the shelf on, we always recommend if you want to make any tilt adjustments to actually take the shelf off completely, make those adjustments, make sure the arms are nice and locked, and then put the shelf back on. But now basically you have a whole shelf where you can put a laptop, an interface, a MIDI controller, basically anything that you might need for your specific live setup. And so basically at this point we're finished with our complete setup. You know, I showed you how to do it with two keyboards, how to add one of our shelves on top of it. One note that I do want to bring up is when it's time to break down, you don't want to take the arms out completely. You actually want to loosen them, rotate them downward, and then fold the stand fully down. This will make your setup at your next location or bringing it back home much easier. So hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to set up your RKS42X two-tier keyboard stand. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville, and I'll see you in the next one.